Okay, so to start off with today, I'm going to show you how to get your family crest or coat of arms into your castle. As you can see here, I have a pretty basic castle to work with. But what I've created is a flag over here, a special place to put my family coat of arms. Now this isn't mine. This is uh, borrowed from a student. A very excellent example here in Photoshop of a hand-drawn family crest filled in with colors in Photoshop at a good resolution. And I can tell that because I'm viewing it and it says it's 12.5%. So if I go to image, image size, I can see that I've got several thousand pixels worth of detail to work with. Um, if you have 10,000, 12,000, then reducing it to uh, about 5,000 would be a good idea, just so it's not enormous when you get ready to put it into, fo into your castle. So this resolution is excellent for our purposes. And you can tell because if I zoom in on something, I do not get a lot of pixelation. Now we don't want to put this Photoshop file into our Google SketchUp because our Google SketchUp files should stay fairly small and quick. So let's go ahead and save as and change this to a PNG format. If this PNG doesn't show up, then you're still working in CMYK mode. The image mode can be changed right here. And if it's in CMYK, then you want to switch it to RGB color and don't merge the layers. You want to be able to keep these layers and be able to turn them on and off just like this. This is what we want because we can do things independently when we do that. So I'm going to go ahead and file, save as, and save it as a PNG version. And I'm going to go ahead and change it to today's date and say thank you again, Sarah, for letting me borrow this. I'm going to click Save. Just click OK on these options. It may take it a little bit to save it, so give it some time, especially if you're working in a very high resolution. So if I go over here and I look, I can see that my original Photoshop was 7.8 megabytes, more or less, and I've reduced it to 1.4. And that's very important because if we go and we look at our SketchUp castle, you can see that that whole castle is only half of a megabyte, and we're about to triple it in size by inserting it. So let's go ahead and do that. You don't want to make it too huge. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to look directly at the surface that I want to import that PNG file. Now it is possible to click and drag it over, but let me show you how to do it officially with the import. Now when you import, the default is a 3DS file because that's the way the models are for Google SketchUp but we're going to choose a different kind of format, this PNG, Portable Network Graphics, right here. And when we do that and we go look in the family crest, there's our PNG file with today's date for our coat of arms. And we're going to use it as an image, not as a texture that's going to get repeated all over the place, but as an image. So we're going to bring it in here. And it's going to show up with a little blue dot in the lower left-hand corner and you're going to want to position it to where you select it and then click and drag upwards for the size that you want. It's going to put it on that face. Now as you can see, I've got transparency. This is what we wanted. Now there was no texture on that flag. So if I turn around and I say actually I want that flag to be a different color, I can fill it in with a color of my flag that would contrast nicely there. Now, what we've got here is I've made this, I've done a push-pull, and I've pulled it out. If that was not three-dimensional, then we would be able to see it on the other side. So it pays to go ahead and pull that out a little bit. Maybe even paint the flag, put it some on the edges if you want to. Let me show you how I did that from the beginning. Okay, I'm going to do it again over here. So I went over here, and I used my circle tool. And I just picked a circle and made a small circle there in this middle. And then used the push-pull tool and pulled it up. How far? Well, you get to decide how tall your flagpole is. Then, of course, you can choose a color or a texture and you can make your flagpole something different. That's what I had done. 
And now I need a flat rectangle to put it on. So I'm going to go to the top here and notice it can have a difficult time figuring out where you want it to go. So I just went ahead and started it off and then used my selection tool and did move and I could move it up, select this and move it out carefully as I wanted to. So now I've got a surface to add that to. Again, I can file, import my coat of arms, and then put it on that face. Now, once again, if I go around and I look at the opposite side, on some surfaces you would see it there. In this case, I don't. So I can go ahead and I can put a second copy of that file, import, and put it on the opposite side. Now I might use my paint bucket tool to make a gray flag out of this one, have different colored flags. But basically, we've got ourselves a way of putting flags or whatever with our coat of arms. You want to be careful putting it on the side of your castle because if you have to get rid of it, it's not always possible to go back and select just the coat of arms and get rid of it. As you can see here, I'm having some trouble making that selection. Sometimes you can, sometimes you try and move it and it won't let you. It'll move everything along with it. So make sure you know where it's going and that it's pretty well. And if you needed to get rid of it, you'd be able to notice that it disappeared. Now I've got just it right there and it's backwards. So yes, there are some strange things that happen when you put in your coat of arms, but make it a PNG so it's smaller. I'm going to save as, and I'm going to save this as uh, the B version with the flag and go and look at it and show you the difference in the sizes. Notice that the size of our file has now added that PNG to it. So that is adding a PNG version, saving from Photoshop with transparency. Very cool to be able to have the color of the banner showing through.